Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Learn Russian with Irina. In today's video, we'll continue studying the nominative case in detail, but this time we'll focus on the noun endings in plural form. So, let's get started. The good news is that Russian nouns in plural form cannot be declined. In the previous lesson, we learned that there were three types of noun declension, but it works only for the nouns in singular form. Okay. Now, there are some nouns in Russian language that have only plural form. Neither of those nouns can be declined. Let's look at some examples. Sani, ворота, дрова, деньги, очки, дрожжи, чернила, ножницы, брюки, Шахматы, каникулы. Now we are going to learn all the endings of Russian nouns in plural form. In order to know how a new ending is formed, it is necessary that you know the noun gender in singular form. Let's look at the next slide. The nouns in masculine gender and singular form generally change their endings in U or E, but sometimes you can also see the ending that consists of the sign of palatalization plus the vowel Я. Now the examples. Журнал, журналы, стол, столы, ковш, ковши, стул, стулья, муж, Мужья, шкаф, шкафы, помидор, помидоры, огурец, огурцы, чайник, чайники, потолок, потолки, пол, полы, телевизор, телевизоры. The nouns in feminine gender and singular form change their endings in U or E. Let's look at the examples. Газета, газеты, ягода, ягоды, виза, визы, фамилия, фамилии, дверь, Двери, подушка, подушки, подруга, подруги, рыба, рыбы, занавеска, занавески, кастрюля, кастрюли, голова, головы. The nouns in neutral gender and singular form change their endings in a or ya. Let's look at the examples. Окно, окна, море, моря, полотенце, полотенца, озеро, озера, слово, слова. Ружье, ружья, ведро, ведра, одеяло, одеяло, весло, весла, ремесло, ремесла. And here we have one exception that is яблоко, яблоки. Good. As you know already, in nominative case, the noun endings want to change. You can look in a dictionary how a noun should be written and its gender, and based on that, you will be able to change that noun in plural form. And it will be the plural form in nominative case. Okay? Let's look at all the steps in the next slide. Computer, 
компьютеры, подставка, подставки, кошка, кошки, заяц, зайцы, коробка, коробки, масло, масла. Very good. And that's it for today. Next time we'll start studying the genitive case and all the noun endings in it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye for now.